Jack, there's a lot of um, interest in Madison Avenue in creating viral videos, branded videos that are watched. What are the challenges to, to those videos being watched and seen, and, and how do you guys help that process, and what advice do you give? Well, the challenges are uh, twofold. One, it's certainly on the creative side. And uh, I think if you are an entertainment company uh, or a media company where you, where you have an, an asset that is uh, most likely entertaining, uh, you have a definitive advantage uh, on the marketplace, say, versus a, a CPG company. Um, but the challenges are uh, getting the clip up into the ecosystem and uh, you know, finding the right formula for the clip to be uh, viewed. Um, I mean, oftentimes, uh, you know, folks want to do viral and they want to do a viral hit. It's, it's, you can't predict it. You know, I suppose you can buy a certain amount of views, but the genius of <clears throat> the online video ecosystem is that, uh, you know, the community will decide if a clip is going to catch or not. So the challenges really are twofold. One, making sure you have an asset on the creative side. Uh, that's worthy, uh, and two, uh, finding a partner, perhaps like a Meta Cafe, who can help you navigate um, the clip into the space. And uh, again, you can't uh, predict or guarantee uh, the end result, but we can certainly help it along. And how do you help the videos uh, get surfaced or viewed? We can uh, put them into our viral engine. You know, oftentimes uh, when you come on Meta Cafe and you uh, look for a clip and uh, certainly you've got a series of thumbnails alongside that dedicated clip. Um, we can place clips alongside uh, like-minded videos and it's really a placement issue. Uh, and then it's also, um, again, helping the marketer understand um, you know, where to put it. So for example, if it's a sports clip, we have a sports hub and we certainly would start there. But again, oftentimes, a clip like Kobe Bryant jumping over a car transcends sports. So, um, you know, it's, it's a dialogue. And uh, uh, again, there's certainly some science to it. But there's also a little bit of art in terms of uh, helping uh, the community discover it. Tell us about the uh, Sara Lee videos you guys are doing. Sara Lee videos, uh, it's a great story. Um, there was a little bit of press about two months ago when they announced that they were doing online video uh, uh, for the first time and they were going to put some uh, you know media behind it and they came to us and uh, you know I'm smiling because uh, we tend to get most excited when we get phone calls from the movie studios or you know Apple's been running on our home page and those are great milestones for Meta Cafe to have those kind of partners and Sara Lee said we have created three dedicated video assets uh, around our deli meat division. And, uh, you know, again, we cracked a smile and we said, deli meats? And they said, yes. And uh, what we have are three clips. Uh, I believe they were called Mama Saga. And they were basically the sagas of uh, moms across the U.S. And uh, one was a woman sitting in the office late at night, uh, you know, a working mom. One was a woman sitting on her couch talking about her day. The kids had just gone to sleep. She was exhausted and she was talking about the many things she did. And uh, the other one, I think, was in her kitchen making lunch for her kids. Very unassuming. Uh, we do not profess to be the experts in terms of what we'll catch. Uh, for whatever reason, these caught. And uh, I think we just broke through the million view mark uh, in a matter of weeks. So um, again, back to our earlier uh, dialogue, um, as much as we like to profess that we understand this business, and we do, uh, it's really fun when a marketer or a partner comes across with uh, some new assets that might not be um, so predictable, and then they hit. So for these marketers like Sara Lee or Apple or others, so do they pay you, or how does it work? What's the business arrangement with, with the marketers? Uh, in Sara Lee's case, they came to us, um, and we built a branded channel for them. So uh, like I mentioned earlier on the Ogilvy front, uh, it does help to have a destination to host the clips. So if you went to metacafe.com uh, backslash Sarah Lee, you would come to a, a very uh, uh, lightly designed channel, really just hosting the clips themselves, nothing uh, complicated. Uh, and then we uh, took on uh, a media budget 
uh, a modest one. It wasn't a, it really wasn't a, uh, they didn't buy the views. I just, I want to be clear with that. But again, oftentimes you need that promotion to, to nudge the clip into the ecosystem. And, uh, you know, I think the media buy ended two weeks ago and the clips are still being viewed. So one last question, where is this whole kind of branded content, this sort of viral video from Madison Avenue going to go next year? I mean, I know you don't exactly have a crystal ball, but you see some trends. I do. I think it's, um, it's only growing. I think it's only going to get bigger. Uh, I do think the market uh, was a little preoccupied over the last year, um, given the economy, um, given uh, the evolution of, say, a Hulu, where um, uh, you know, a pre-roll centric programmed atmosphere uh, took up a lot of attention. Um, and for us, the genius of the video space is, again, the combination of uh, good content, but also the community. The community drives everything. So I feel like um, marketers are getting a little bit more nimble uh, with the economy coming back a little bit. Um, they're getting a little bit more confident uh, and they're discovering that there's a lot of media consumption going on out there in the space uh, that they can take advantage of.